Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Daniel G. Garza. I'm like, oh, just click it. There you go. So, everybody doing? Good morning. I'm Daniel G. Garza, the Card Devo, and this is Breakfast Readings. I'm getting my oatmeal ready. I'm about to put it in the microwave, get my coffee brewed. Uh, if you're watching me on TikTok, then you're watching this live, and uh, you can get a reading today. If you're watching me on YouTube, do me a favor, scroll down, hit that notification button, and you'll get notified every time a new show gets put on and uh, but ask questions make comments on YouTube and you might get a response with the reading hi good afternoon Orlando Florida hola Orlando hey how's everybody doing let me put this in the microwave how's everybody doing the t-shirt today is uh, this is uh, uh, a Pina Cabo and uh, it says at the end of the day, we can endure much more than we think we can. At the end of the day, we can endure much more than we think we can. And isn't that the truth? Um, if you really think about it, our, our bodies and our minds are, are like, can handle like, more than we ever thought we could. And, uh, hola, buenos dias. My day is going well. It's just starting. For those of you who don't know me well, I'm Daniel G. Garza at the Car Devo, and uh, I'm in California. Today I'm in Corpus City at my uh, my boyfriend's house. So um, usually I'm in Laguna Beach. But um, if you don't know, thank you. Yeah, great message, right? Yeah, this is part of uh, Mexi Mexi Candy and stuff. I believe it's the name of the company. Uh, it's a t-shirt of the month. So you, you buy three months worth. And every month they send you Mexican candy and a t-shirt. And this is one of the t-shirts. I really dig it. I, it's the first time I wear it. So uh, I love it. So for those of you that are not familiar with the show, we do card readings. So if you've never had a card reading, this is your chance to get one. Um, let me clean off my space here. How do we do that? The first person... Better energy. Oh, yes, better energy today. Yes. Um, <laughs> for those of you that were uh, that follow me regularly, and I appreciate that. I know that there's plenty of other TikTokers you could be watching right now. But uh, yesterday was yesterday was an off day. Okay, step step five. We got you first. Um, yesterday was an off day. Like not off bad, but um, nope. I'll get ready. Christian and I, my partner and I, we do a, a Wednesday live show on all the other channels, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook, and it's called The Christian and Daniel Show, so if you're not following us on YouTube, you should, Bio's in, uh, link's in the bio, and uh, so you, you, last night, uh, we had a special co-host, and it, it was an interesting show, needless to say. It was an interesting show, and the whole the whole day was just interesting. We're gonna we're gonna leave it at interesting. I think it's the energy. I think things are shifting right now. Hey, good morning, and um, things are just kind of shifting, and, and we're all trying to adjust. And whew. Uh, but um, things are all good. So uh, again, for those of you who are new to my channel. Here's how we do it. So I already have, um, uh, I already have step five uh, is next. What happens is when I say the code word, which is oatmeal break, when you hear me say that, the first person to put their name and their number from one to nine is the next person read. I don't choose you, you the energy, the universe chooses you. So the next person to do it. So there is no I'm next. There is no um, when is it my turn. So, uh, uh, but if you have specific questions, if you want a reading, this is my work. So you're, uh, please, I invite you to email me, message me here on TikTok, and I will uh, send you an email with my times and my rates, and um, we can book a session. But this is my work, so uh, I, I appreciate the support. If you send me four friends, your reading's for free. So if you, uh, if you send, if you have four friends that want a reading, uh, you're reading this for free. And um, so, there you go. Alright, so let's start with, uh, where were you? Where are you? Stuff. 
Steph, are you still with me? And we go on for an hour, so. All right, let me take a little sip. Cheers, buenos dias. Mm. Good coffee. All right. Another thing that happens here on the show, in case you don't, you're not, you haven't watched me before, is cards reappear no matter how much I shuffle, no matter how much I ship them, uh, shake them up. Cards will make an appearance. There's usually a theme to the to the show. Good morning. Everything is going well. Gracias, amiga. Uh, things are getting started. We're we're good to go. Um, all right. So, Steph. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the with the, so I pulled three cards for everybody. Everybody gets three cards. So the, it's past, present, future, foundation, now, outcome, or then, now, tomorrow, um, and um, but here's your power. I'm gonna start with the outcome card. You've got you've got a lot of you're really growing into your power at the moment, and I, I really encourage you to keep going in that direction. Mainly because it's going to help you grow into your partnerships. Here's the like the partnerships and alliances. Um, I I feel like you are really like I feel like I feel like the connections that you've been wanting to make stuff. I feel like the the people that you need. I feel like the power that comes on to you, it's not like, oh, I am powerful, I can do everything myself. I feel like the power that you are calling in is the power to be able to connect with other people. Um, in my bowl, it is full with oatmeal today. I just I haven't even taken my first move for yet. But Steph, I feel like these collaborations, I'm thinking more professional than personal, but I feel like you, you are at a place right now where your, your power comes from being able to ask for the people in your life that will help you succeed. So either either we change jobs, we left the job, we're leaving a job, but I feel like yours, the step you wanna take forward in order to advance yourself, those are being, because here's your wishes, your wishes are being fulfilled. So um, the right people are starting to come to you and, and accept them, but I feel like, I feel like your power comes from recognizing that you need assistance, you need help, you need a mentor, you need somebody to guide you through the process. And that's where your power is gonna lie. Does that make sense? Is that making sense? But definitely the partner I feel like definitely the partnerships that are coming to you are gonna help you, are gonna help you connect. Um, see, there's, there's the triumph card. So you will succeed um, re regardless of the fear that you have at the moment regardless of the fear you have at the moment, you will succeed in the way you go. Um, it, I just feel like, okay, so there's money itch. So I feel like there is money coming to you. So be be powerful, stay powerful, be positive in, in the direction that you're going. Um, does that make sense, Steph? I hope that's making sense. But, but I really feel like your, your power, the power that you have uh, the power that you have right now is your ability to ask for assistance and help. And that is huge because most people want to do everything by themselves. I'll raise my hand. But sometimes the power is in bringing people in to guide us through the steps. I hope that makes sense. Are you there, Steph? I hope it's making sense to you. I wonder if you're still here. But for everybody, if you miss your reading or if you miss something... From your reading, remember that all these videos go up on YouTube. I think I forgot to put the one yesterday, so I'll, I'll post that today. Um, yes, yes, so I hope it makes sense to you, Steph. Um, um, and uh, can we not argue here? Not, let's not argue. Let's not have that kind of day. I, I really am requesting that. Um, I know I can't control what you type, but you do. So everybody just deep breath and... Uh, there's a way that we do this on my page, and uh, please respect my way of doing things. And, uh, and everybody's welcome, but just... Um, but good morning, good morning. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, Steph, I hope that made sense to you. Um, but um, 
it, 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 it really, you're really in a good place. And uh, I, I hope you, I hope you take, I hope you take um, advantage of the situation and that people are willing to help you to move forward. It's not a handout. It's not, uh, it's, it's just, uh, it's all good. Good. Thank you. Uh, anyway, so uh, with that said, all right, oatmeal break. Mm. Awesome, Valerie, we got you, Valerie. Mm. Valerie, you know that song was coming, right? Valerie, have you been here before? I feel like your your name so looks familiar. Have I read for you before? Hello, Nancy. Welcome. Yes, we have, we have. Okay. Let me sing it to the first. You have to Valerie. I don't know what you guys see sometimes on yours, but um, honestly, I Valerie was the first one to pop on my screen. So uh, I don't cheat people. I don't cheat you out. I don't trick you. Um, I'm not here to take your money unless you hire me and, and I pay me for my time. You can send me little... Ro I love roses. I do love roses. I've always said I love the roses. Um, but I, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to cheat you out. Please do not question my integrity. Please do not. I, saw, I said the first person I saw. And I don't know why... I, if, if, the, if the universe is meant for you, it'll, it'll give you a reading. I, I promise. But I'm not cheating you out. I'm not. It's nothing personal against anybody. Um, hello, I'm Temple. How are you? Oh, hi, Temple. Good morning. I'm doing really well. Just a lot of new energy in the group, and I appreciate it. But you know, there's a way I do my stuff, and you, you're you're coming into my house. When you come into people's rooms on TikTok, you come into our house, and there's a respect that needs to be had. Even if it is social media, there's a respect to be had. Um, and um, so I appreciate that, but I am not cheating anybody out. Just, just so you know. So if you question me because I'm cheating you out, then you're not in the right room. All right, Valerie. Guys, 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 guys. guys. <laughs> Dad's here. They're, they're. Are, I've watched so many other people doing this online and there's no one who gets everyone and you know that so come on it's so annoying to hear him defending himself when he's just doing something this is free if you want full attention you can get it from any of the people on here and they all solicit the same thing set up an appointment but hi he good morning here. I he just don't want you guys I just I want you guys to be able to get what you need for the people who are meant to get it. And I'm so sorry that you guys aren't getting it. I am. I, I you know, but every, every psychic on TikTok has the same issue that they only can do what they see right away. And that's how it works. And if you don't like it, then you have to hire someone. It doesn't have to be Daniel. Mm -hmm. It could be anyone. And they'll give you all the personal attention you need. And um, you, you give me for a whole hour. So it's great. So either way, I love you guys. I love this guy. And um, good morning to all of you. By the way, someone's name Ben came up, but we'll see what happens with that. For everybody, when I met Kristen's house, he is a medium. And um, she was awful. Well, call me. Call me. Um, we'll, we'll fix that. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, what, what are we eating for this? Oatmeal. Every time I'm on this, I do here, I do oatmeal. I respect your method. That's why you're real. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm not here to, like, I don't. I don't take your money for nothing. I, I take my time is valuable, and because um, um, I'm valuable, and I've learned to value myself. But these sessions are, I give those for you. It's kind of like, hey, we show, but it helps me because it helps my intuition grow. You're helping my muscle grow, so. Uh, but we also understand this. We do understand it's a high energy time, a lot's going on. But 
this is where we're supposed to come to kind of let that go and let that be outside of us and outside of this because everyone this is love and it's done to help you out all right so um with that let's go back to valerie because valerie there you go valerie. valerie's like where's my cards here they are valerie so for you um it's really interesting so i i just said that cards make an appearance there's a theme throughout the day so i feel like the theme today is partnerships alliances bringing people into your your space because valerie here's your card too uh, partnerships and alliances. So there are connections being made for you too. Um, and uh, you're in line with Walter Mercado. I love Walter Mercado. He, he inspires mm -hmm. me. That's um, but Valerie, there are two things that are starting for you. One is prosperity. The other is love. So see, prosperity be begins, love begins. And in the middle, there's alliances. So I feel like for you too, it's the same thing as we were talking uh, just a minute ago with Steph. There are these partnerships, there's these alliances that are coming. <laughs> it's a small, it's a small kitchen, folks. Uh, there are alliances and partnerships that are coming to you, Valerie, that are going to help you move forward. Um, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, really good cards for Valerie. Um, there is both a personal and professional balance coming to you, and I feel like it's really a good start. There's people coming for professional. Oh, I just got chills. And people coming in the personal and it's balancing you out. Now, I want to say this because we say this almost every show. Action, reaction, positive, negative. What does that mean? It means that the actions that you're taking right now, Valerie, are going to help you to move forward. The actions you're taking. There's going to be a reaction in some people. So, please, it's not like I'm telling you be ready for the bad, but be conscious that some people are not going to be happy with you in the direction that you're going. There will be some pushback. Positive is that you're going in a good direction. Negative is that some people may not react. Uh, yes, maybe the next time you be the first one. Yeah, sweetie, it's it's nothing personal. I hope you're not taking it personal because it's not. It's it's nothing personal. Uh, it's just the way that I've set up my system and it's worked for me for all this time. And uh, but you're always welcome. Please, it, it's nothing. I hope nobody takes anything personal. I'm, I, I love hanging out with you guys in the morning. Uh, but I, I, I have a system and I, I stick to it because I like consistency and I I respect y'all and I want you to, I want you to know what you're getting when you come into my page and, and you're always going to get the same thing. And uh, But I, I do love hanging out with you guys. Nothing personal. Um, but uh, so uh, Valerie, I hope that's making sense for you. Are you still there with me? Um, allow, I feel like everybody's just, as we are, ah, gracias, gracias, gracias Nancy, um, okay, so, and, and it's happening for a lot of us, we, we can deny what's happening in the world at the moment, all these energies that are like, we're, we're moving forward, we're staying back, oh, hello there, I don't know what that means, but I hope it's something nice, um, and somebody put a, it looks oriental message. I don't know what it means, but I hope it's something good. But it's all of us. Here's what we're So I'm going to, okay, I'm going to tell you. China. Oh, China. Well, welcome, China. Thank you for joining me. Um, can you tell me what that means? Um, but um, I am not in China. I am in California, if that's what you were asking. No, I'm. People were asking me yesterday in the day, like before, where, where, do, where am I from? I'm Mexican. I'm Mexican-American. Uh, I'm a Texan. So uh, there's nothing. Well, yeah, there is. Oh, there is. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so, Valerie, for everybody watching, we, we're in such chaotic times right now energetically because it's stop, go, don't get together. Yes, you can get together. Don't go outside. Stay inside. We, we're so hectic in our energy that it's hard to break through it sometimes. So we, we got we to gotta pause sometimes and, and take a breather. And uh, trust me, I am a horrible, I'm a workaholic. I, I go, 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 go. It's not uncommon that I start at six in the morning, seven in the morning, and it's midnight and I'm still on my computer working on something. So I get it. But every once in a while, like I take Sundays off. I, I've made it a rule that I take Sundays off unless a special client comes up. But it's time to stop and let the energy settle. 
And because sometimes there's energies that want to come to us. There's people, places and things that are calling to us. And if we don't stop, we don't hear the message and then we miss it. And it doesn't mean that it's not going to come back around, but it's just not going to come back around the way it's supposed to. So, and I don't, I don't, I'm not insinuating that Valerie is like, Ugh. I'm just saying, Valerie, this is a really good moment to take a pause. If things are a little chaotic around you, hi, good morning. Good morning. Um, thank you. Yeah. Um, I've, I've been working on that myself and me with my life coach and my spiritual coach, we've been working on me just stopping and letting the messages come through. And I really do believe, I do believe that part of the growth of my page and uh, just a little, okay, well, I'm going to, oh, hold on a second. Don't go, Valerie. Um, I feel like the growth of my internet status, whatever, uh, is growing because I give myself time to pause. I don't need to be on all the time. So Valerie says she doesn't quite understand. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's just your spirituality. Yeah, your spirituality is just adjusting. The energy, good morning. Ooh, sexy granny, one. I like that. Good morning. Um, the spiritual connections that you're making, Valerie. Um, hi, good morning. It's 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 really aligning you and it's bringing in you personal and professional prosperity. Things are just aligning up for you. Uh, I know, right? Sexy Granny, that's a cool name. Uh, so, Valerie, all I can say is if you have time today, take a little pause. Find a moment where you can just put the phone down. And everybody could do this. Everybody could do this. Let's, we, I'm gonna, let's, let's, let's do this for a second. Yeah. Zip's almost on the go. My parents tell me to slow down. Ah, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm sounding like your parent right now. Like, calmate ya. But, Valerie, ya, siéntate. Uh, hello. Uh, am I able to get a reading? Uh, yes, you are able to get a reading. Um, well, hello. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, yes, you get a reading. Just uh, when you hear me say oatmeal break. That's your turn to put in your name and a number from one to nine, and the first person to do it gets the next reading. It's a lottery. It really is a lottery. But let's. here's what we're going to do. So I want you all, if you can close your eyes, cool, close your eyes. If you don't want to, that's fine. If you want to see this again, you can go to my YouTube page later and check it out. So let's work on, on shutting everything down for a second. Okay, let's, let's, let's work on shutting everything down. So I want you to take a deep breath. Let it out. Bring it in. And let it out. Let's do one more, one more. And let it out. And hopefully you have your eyes closed at this moment. And this is going to be really quick. Don't worry, I'm not going to take it to a long meditation. I just want you to shut everything down and reset all of the buttons for just a minute. So now that your eyes are closed and your energy's balanced and you're calm, I want you to imagine your root chakra. And your root chakra is what we walk on every day. It's where the, our nurture and nature is. And I want you to hit that reset button and imagine that everything turns off and the red light comes back on. And all of the, all of the negative things that people have said to you recently They've been affecting you the way you act, the way you work, the way you do things. They're gone because they're not they're not yours. It's something that somebody said to you out of their own insecurities or fears. Not the constructive criticism stuff, just the bad negative stuff. Just let it go. It's been deleted from your hard drive. You don't need it. I want you to go to your sacral, sacral chakras. Just just touch your hips. And it's that orange color. And I want you to press the reset button. And it's going to reset all your fears and your fearlessness. You're going to be right in the middle of your balance right now. There's nothing you can't do if you put your mind to it. Or at least get really close to it. But a little bit of fear and a little bit of fearlessness, you're okay. You're okay. We're not supposed to be brave all the time. And we're not supposed to be afraid all the time. You, you need to be right there in the middle. Now I want you to go up to your belly and, and that's... That's your yellow, that's your solar plex, and I want you to hit that reset button. 
And when that yellow light comes back on, that is the connection to you. Forget about what everybody's opinion is. Connect with you. And it's, can you feel the energy running through your body? Because you're connecting to yourself again. You're connecting to yourself again. Now I want you to go up to your heart, your heart chakra. Hit that reset button. And the green light goes away. And it comes back. And this is where we balance everything from love to hate. This is where we open to the world, where we listen to what the world is saying to us. Everything comes through here. Everything doesn't intake in your heart. But you get to choose what stays and what leaves. But put it through your heart first. And make sure that your perception of the world is in the right place. Next, I want you to go up to your throat chakra and hit that reset button. That's going to turn that light blue off and on. This is where your throat chakra, this is where you speak your truth to yourself. I want you to talk to yourself. Tell yourself the truth today. What is your truth? I am wonderful. I don't feel good. I need help. I feel alone. I'm happy. This is where you talk to yourself. Speak to yourself. And be honest. Be honest. What do I need to do to make my myself better? I want you to go up to your brow. Boop, hit that reset button. And that purple color is going away and comes back. And when it comes back, there's your dream. Remember that dream you had? Something you wanted to accomplish? Remember the goal you forgot about? Yes, COVID took away a lot of the dreams and goals we have, but there are still some in there and not everything went away. So give yourself a chance. Open up. Give yourself permission to have a dreams and goals again. I know the world is crazy right now, but it doesn't mean you can't continue to dream and have some goals. Go for it. It's okay. And now we're going up to the crown chakra. Hit that reset button. Boop. And that white light goes away and comes back. And when it comes back, that white light is shining all over you. I'm getting chills. It shines over you and it shows you the most wonderful version of you. The most divine version of you. The most perfect version of you. It's right there. Remember that person? It never really went away. We just kind of hid behind our root chakra, our sacred chakra, our solar, our heart, our throat, and our dreams. The most divine version of you has always been there. It just kind of kind of got pushed back. But now that you've hit the reset button, that person's back. And we may not do everything we want, but it'll be fun trying. So remember to have fun today. Take a pause. It's okay to relax. I want you to take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. And if you have your eyes closed, take one more deep breath. And open your eyes. How is that? How are you feeling? Hope that felt good. We forget. We forget. We forget that we were made out of so many different things. And if you missed, if you missed it, you want to hear it again. Remember, this is going to be on YouTube later, so you can go back and, and follow it. You feel better. Great. Good. Somebody was asking what the cards is. Yes, I always, I, I usually always use uh, John Holland's The Psychic Tarot, and the reason I like it is because it looks really good on camera. Um, the cards look really amazing. Um, the colors are really great, and it's a really complete deck. It's a really complete deck. Um, I have. I have about 40 decks at home, but uh, this is the one that usually travels with me. So I hope that helped. Um, so everybody good? Uh, yeah. I know life is hectic, but I, I want you to come into my readings. I want you to come to my room and just, this is a moment to relax and, and, and just take a deep breath. So let's do, uh, you feel better for sure. Good. I'm glad you do. Uh, and Valerie, just be open to those connections. If they're not happening already, they're coming for you. So um, they're coming. I mean that in a good way. So relationship and uh, and the relationships for everybody here relationship doesn't always mean 
romantic. It just means personal relationships. And if you, um, professional too. Um, do I do personal readings? Yes, you can message me here with your email address and I'll contact you back. And uh, I will send you my uh, times and uh, prices. What's next for me when it comes to love? Good question. Um, please book a session and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about your love. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't answer, I, for everybody who's new to my page, I don't answer specific questions here. You just get what the universe wants to send you. It's, it's, a, it's a gift package. It's one of those grab bags at the grocery store. You don't know what you're getting. This is what this is here. Um, dealing with beer less than yesterday, but still hesitant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, uh, okay, so, hold on. So I'm, I'm hungry. There is, there is no reason why we shouldn't have a little fear in our lives. Some people think that a balanced life is based on being fearless. And that's not true. Um, a balanced life, a balanced life has fear and fearlessness, light and dark, life, uh, birth and death. That's a balanced life. A balanced life doesn't mean that everything good happens to us every day. Eventually, the universe is going to want to balance things out. You're, you're based, I mean, life has a way of, of come on, karma, karma, she's, 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 she's real and she's out there. And there is no way, there's no way to escape karma. Yeah, it's good to be a little scared. It's, it's, fear is what, um, Fear is what makes me pay attention to things. It, it helps me um, stay on my toes. It'll keep, keep, keep me, like, it keeps me on my feet. Like, what's up? What's going on? Like, uh, I've already paid my dues. Well, then, are you ready to accept the good things that have come into your life? And honestly, guys, I, I say this on my, my own experience. Just when I thought that things were like all going to be like, yay, let's celebrate good times. The life is like, um, excuse me, um, you need to bring it down a notch. You're too happy. And uh, I tell you, like uh, when I turned 30 and I was sick and then at 45 when I had cancer and then my ostomy uh, and then emergency surgery where I died and had to come was brought back like let me, let me tell you there's things in my life like wait till i write the book uh we're never i say this with love and respect we're, we never we never stop paying our dues so long as you're alive uh that's the fear fear from success from being what i am which is alive what what is i'm gonna follow you because it's easy and interesting Begin of the light, helping Earth evolve by global harmonic consciousness. Awesome. Then you know, like you know that um, energy is a boomerang. Energy is a boomerang. It, you send it out, it comes back. What are you afraid of? What is it that you're fearing? That things will, ne will not always work out for us? That's not a fear. That's life. Things... That's it. I've started to grow into strategies, not plans. I, I have a goal of things that I want to accomplish, and I have a strategy of how I'm going to get there. Jealousy people will stop worrying about others. That's that right there, sir. That is that is it. Stop worrying about others. They're gonna people. You know what? People are gonna be jealous all the time. There's jealousy around us all the time. Some people are jealous in a good way. Some people are jealous in another way. Some people do it to ha cause you harm and some people do it to motivate themselves to do better. But you're not, that's not your control. You have no control over that. So you're trying to, you're, you're hurting kittens in a box and, and trying to keep them there. And unless you close the box, they're, they're going to keep moving around. And um, not, I'm talking about your heart. <laughs> you know, you got to open your heart. You're, I feel like your, your your heart chakra is what's closing up that fear of the information that's coming to you. But love the facts and show. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you, did you, did you see it? Did you see it? At the end of the day. Oh, what an apropos. This is the perfect teacher for today. At the end of the day, we can endure much more than we think we can. Bria Calo. That's the good shirt for today because we're talking about.
connections too. The theme today seems to be these connections. Who are you avoiding connecting with? And this could be a general question for everybody. Who are you avoiding connecting with? Because it's going to push you in a, an uncomfortable situation. It's going to push you in a way that you don't want to go. And that, yeah, that's uncomfortable. But like, what's the alternative? Stay where you are all the time? Like, uh, unless you're happy where you are. I'm not here to judge you or question your happiness. Some people are happy at the same job. For years, enduring the death of my daughter is so much more than I believe I can live through. But you're here. You're here. You're connected to everyone. You shouldn't be connected to everyone. You don't want to go and learn how to accept myself and as I am feeling, knowing that what I'm supposed to. Okay, well, let me take one at a time. Um, I, my condolences first about your daughter. I, I can't imagine. I'm not a parent. I can't imagine. But you're here. You're here. And that's that's the reality, that you are still here. And you have to breathe, and you have to function, and you have things to accomplish, and you have to move forward. So you are here. And I encourage you to go in there and and, and, and make peace with that pain. I, I lost my mom last year, and that pain doesn't go away. We just make peace with it and go, okay, how, how am I going to function with that little piece of, of pain inside of me? How can I function? And make peace with it and go, hey, look, if you're going to be in my life, pain sadness if you're going to be in my life we are still going to be productive and how can i achieve that and no you we, we're not supposed to be connected to everyone we're connected to the energy around us yes but we don't like everybody we don't love everybody we can respect everybody like i respect people some not everybody thinks like me like but doesn't mean i have to love them doesn't mean i have to like them i just respect them we, this idea that oh i love everybody I, I don't love everybody i love the idea of the world i love the idea of energy but i don't i don't hold myself to that expectation that i meant i, I i'm supposed to get along with everyone like i i, I there's people that we work with that were sometimes like Ugh, like I, like i don't like your style but we make it work we compromise it doesn't mean we're like best buddies after work, let's grab coffee kind of thing. It's it's like, hey, I respect you. And that's that's cool. That's how that's how we're going to keep it. And, and some people just live that way. And I, I don't stress over it. Like, I don't I don't I don't I don't like everybody I meet. Sometimes I don't I just don't like them. I, I, I dig them. Like, I respect their work. I respect who they are. I respect that they have their own problems and lives and such. It just means we're not going to be like buddies and, and that's okay. I don't, I don't need to be buddies with everybody for me to exist. Uh, you don't want to go and learn how to accept myself. Um, and really knowing what I'm supposed to. Oh my God. You, you need to accept, you need to accept who you are with bruises and bumps and, and quirkiness and good and bad. Well, we're not meant to be perfect. We're not perfect. We're not, we're, we're, we're imperfect. We're full of flaws. We're, we're full of, defects <laughs> and that's what makes us unique otherwise we would all be the exact same person yes jesus loves us yes god jesus whomever your higher power is the universe is with us and life wants us to succeed but life life puts some um yes condolences and sending love to her yes of course thank you for trying just lost my job it was what i, I kept getting up now i have nothing left girl ah no christian or let me see, let me see what you're Kristen. Um, Kristen, you have you to wake up for. What are you talking about? You are the most important thing to wake up for in every morning. A job is a job. We will we will find another job. You maybe the universe is pushing you to find your passion, but you have you to wake up to every day. And if you say, Well, that's not enough, well then we gotta make it more. Gotta make it more. You have you to wake up. I can I can have love for everyone. I do not like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the idea of people. I tolerate people. Yeah, there's some people that I, that I do. Like I am, maybe I'm not that spiritual. I don't like some people. I just like gotta work with you. Cool. Like let's make this let's make this work. But it doesn't stop me from doing my best job. It doesn't stop me from coming home and enjoying my favorite dinner. Or like I don't stop myself. I don't put that energy in front of me going. Jesus Christ, I have to go work with this person today. Damn it. It's like, hey, I'm going to go to work. I'm going to do my best for me. And everybody is not my responsibility. Everybody, we're not, you're, you're not my responsibility. 
and I say this with love to everybody, you're not. You're not my responsibility. I, I'm here as a spiritual coach, and I, I try to encourage you to do your best, and I will help you to do your best. But if you don't want to do it, then then this is just you know a show. So thank you. She was amazing. She was here on TikTok. Oh, message me private, Kristen. Message me private, um, and, and we'll, we'll chat. I am not perfect. I have set myself as am. You know, that's one of the best things that my um, my ex ever said when I was fresh out of rehab. Is like, I am perfect in my imperfections. And that is one of the best things he could have ever said to me. I learned so much just from that sentence. I am perfect in my imperfections. I'm a very spiritual person, but I feel like I can't go to the ruinous of letting old person go. Oh, that is big. Letting go of old people that, that you don't... Oh, you, are you talking about people that... Are old in your energy, like old energy, yeah. Sometimes it's difficult, and you need some help with that. You need some help with that. It's okay to need, it's okay to ask for help. That's all, folks. It's okay to ask for help sometimes to help you let go of people. It's okay to do that. Just sad that that is all. She was my everything. I failed as a mom. My love was not enough. Oh, Shriki, no, no, no. We, we've got to let go of that. You've got to, you, and I, I say this respectfully, but you are your everything. You are your everything. And kids are, kids are com, coming to your life to enhance your life, yes. But you are your everything. And you deserve to get that energy back. And uh, I don't know the side of the story. I don't know what happened for you and your daughter. But at some point, you've got to, like, look in the mirror and, and maybe have a break down and cry a little and get mad have you gone through the process of grieving grieving have you gone to the grief process and but you've got to come out of that tunnel on your own and again will you message me privately let's let's chat privately and uh Kristen, i don't want to put all your business out here but um anyway folks you know, every, every show takes a turn so i hope today's show helped you i hope the meditation Helped you live it. These are quick meditations. If you, um, God plan is beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, God plan is awesome, man. Uh, God and the universe have spoiled me tremendously, tremendously. And I am so blessed and grateful for everything that I get to do and everything that I've done in my life, the good and the bad. And I'm, I'm in peace with that. I mean, I was a drug addict, alcoholic for 16 years and I did some pretty horrible stuff. And I went to therapy and I went to a spiritual mentor and I, I, I did the work and I apologized and I did rehab and I've been clean and sober for 14 years. Uh, good morning. Thank you for Emily. You're never late. You're right on time. Um, and um, so, you know, you I'm learning to love myself and accept who I am. Thank you for the help. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got it. I, mean, I, I was just talking to a friend of mine this morning. I'm like, I accept that I am a little neurotic. Like they're like I obsess over things. I want to make sure that I do everything right. Because I have high standards for myself, but I've made peace with that. I made peace that I will obsess over something a little bit until it's done. And then once it's done, I move on to something else. But I've had to make peace with that. And it took a long time to do that. So I hope that you give yourself permission to do that as well. Um, my readings, I do not, uh, will you message me? And I will give you my prices. Uh, and uh, I've been, thanks, I am an open book. Wish I understood God's plan. Shadow work is tough. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, but ah, oh, thanks, babe. Um, but, uh, you know, you, number one, go back and re rewatch the meditation. It'll be on YouTube later today. I'm Daniel G. Garza, the card devil. I've got to go because I have a client at 10 o'clock. So I need to get ready for that. But, um, do good, be good. Um, accept yourself. That's the number one. If you can't accept yourself, you're not going to accept the things around you. And it's going to be really hard. Um, if you would like a private session, please message me and I'll give you my prices and email. Uh, thank you so much for today. It, it's, it's a learning process. Again, the, uh, meditation, the meditation will be on YouTube later on today. So if you missed it, uh, go check it out. It's very small. I hope, I hope it helped you reset your buttons for today. For those of you that need to reset and pay attention to those alliances and people coming into your life. Uh, much love. I will see you tomorrow on the Card Depot. Have a good day. Bye.